more game left in the regular season. Um, obviously, you've missed some games with injury, but how do you feel that you have uh, come into your own role and continued to develop during your rookie season? Um, really, I just try to do what's asked for me, you know. I go out and try to get better, and like I said, try to make a name for myself. And that's if, if they at doing whatever they ask me to do. So if I need to block the whole game, that's what I'm doing. If I need to go out and make some catches, and that's what I'm doing. So just trying to stay in my lane, get better, learn, and hopefully improve and showing them that I can, I can be what they want me to be. How did you feel in that first game back for you last week? Oh, it felt great. You know, I tell I told the trainers like, yo, I hate I hate missing games. You know, just being able to not be out there with the guys. You know, they're out there um, busting their butts. You know, going through practice hard, playing through the games, and I'm in the training room trying to get better. So, I just felt like, and they trainers told me, and the guys told me, you know, just take your time, get healthy, because um, in the playoffs, then we're gonna need everybody healthy. So. That's what I tried to focus on, try to get back healthier so I could be able to come out and play. Next one's from Amos Morale. Yeah, what's it been like uh, getting coached by CJ and what has he really been uh, you know, harping on you? The details, you know, CJ is a fun, hard coach. You know, he's gonna bring fun to the table and he's gonna make it enjoyable, but also he also has that side that he, like we're here to perform. We're here to win games. So with him being on our butts, you know, him and RC and even the guys, you know, everybody's here trying to improve each other, whether the older guys helping us and we're just taking nuggets from everybody. Next one's from Luke Johnson. Marquez, what would you say is like the biggest lesson you've learned uh, in your first year in the NFL? Oof. It's been so many, really, from from not playing to, you know, coming in and have to play, from dealing with injury and adversity to coming back and being able to overcome that, from from being down and having to come back from behind and be able to win games. It's just a lot of adversity on and off the field and having the guys that have been here, the guys, the coaches, and not even just in the receiver room, but from the offense as itself, even the defensive guys, you know, just having everybody here and on the same page. Next one's from Kyle Mosley. Mr. Callaway, how does it feel about in a couple of weeks you may be playing in your first NFL playoff game? Um, it's overwhelming. We're really trying to take care of business first and hopefully everything works out so we can become the number one seed. But, you know, we're taking it day by day. We got the next game coming up. We go to Carolina, obviously, and we're trying to take care of business there. And then we can focus and worry about the playoffs. Next one's from Amy Just. Yeah, it's been a week now, obviously, since Alvin's uh touchdown <laughs> game but he's called you a brother before and i assume you feel the same way so how was that like for you as a college teammate of his just seeing him ball out like that? it's no surprise to me i've probably said this before i know i have said it before but i'm not surprised with any record that alvin breaks you know alvin's my brother we went to school together you know so i've seen him in college and when he went to the league and what he was doing his first couple years here. So I'm not surprised about any record that he breaks. You know, I love him, I'm happy for him, and I was just happy that I was there to witness it in person. All right, we're all set.